Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Before we move on with today's demo, let me apologize that I was unable to load anything, uh, a new video last week. Um, I have been having some issues with my computer and it was overheating. So there was no way I could do any editing with my, uh, with the filming that I had done. So um, it's still having the same issues, but I have, uh, I have managed to do something with just a small video today. So let's get straight to it. So today's uh, demo is just me playing around and warming up uh, in my sketchbook again. Um, but I decided to just put the camera on so that you could take a look at how I just warm up before a, um, before a large um, painting that I'm supposed to be doing. Um, so this was right before a commissioned uh, piece that I was working on. If you have been following me on Instagram, you would have seen the house portrait. So yeah, so before I started on that, I just wanted to warm up and loosen up. And when I'm really working on such a large piece and such an important piece, uh, when the client briefs are really very, um, I have to stick to it very closely. Uh, during those times, I usually just take my sketchbook and I start playing with it, just just mixing random colors, no plan in mind. Just and florals are my way of um, just relaxing and uh, loosening up my muscles in my hand. So yeah, so this was one of those uh, uh, warm up uh, sketches. So not really a major painting, but. Um, it still gives you an idea of how to use your sketchbook to warm up, to play around, to mix colors, to do everything but real paintings. So don't think that a sketchbook is supposed to be all pristine and clean and nice. It's supposed to be where you document your everyday uh, practices and everyday art without really worrying about um, ruining a big large piece of paper so yeah so i decided to film that today and uh, i'm sharing this with you So to just go over the supplies that I've used today, um, I'm using M. Graham um, watercolor paints and that's a Kolinsky sable brush. It's a number six round. The sketchbook is um, a handmade paper sketchbook and I had found this at Hobby Lobby many, many years ago. And uh, it is a square format, which I really enjoy. It's a rough paper and uh, very highly textured. I'm not able to find this anymore. I know I've been asked this many, many times over 
whatever but i'm not able to find the sketchbook anymore but there is a similar one in a different format by the same company that is global arts and uh, you can still find it in hobby lobby or any of the online shops so in no way is this a sponsored video by global arts it's just me trying to share something that uh, uh, people have been asking for uh, but i'm so sorry but this uh, particular sketchbook i haven't seen it anywhere and i'm really going to miss it when it's uh, when it's on its last page i'm almost nearing that uh, but if you do find it do let me know because i would definitely want to get another one uh, so yeah so that's all the the supplies that i have used today but feel free to try with any color and with any kind of paints uh, as i have mentioned earlier it's a paper that is important um the rest you can get away so when it comes to a sketchbook get a good quality watercolor paper sketchbook and if possible invest in 100% cotton paper and it really takes your art to a whole new level so yeah so that's a little bit about the supplies
so that's it for today and i did try to keep this real time so it is a slightly longer video i hardly did any editing because um, um it just happens that we as artists we we keep painting and then we edit it but we, in real time it has taken us more than 20 minutes or maybe even 25 minutes to just do a simple sketch but when we edit it and make it look like under 5 minutes or under 7 minutes it's not really true that we did paint in under 5 minutes on because you take that much time just trying to mix your colors or just dipping your brush in water or washing your brush in water so no way is a painting of um, or even a sketch for that matter going to be done in just uh, under 2 minutes or 5 minutes but um, so, but sometimes you just for the sake of time just so that you don't keep watching us mixing colors and washing our brushes we do, do try to edit it and bring it down in uh, time so that you can just uh, watch it through but in real time it does take at least 15 to 20 minutes to make a, a sketch like this so this time around i since i was asked this question last time i realized you know what maybe i should keep one video real time so that the audience really knows how long it takes to do something like this so yeah so i'm so sorry if you felt it was long but i hope this helps somebody and i hope you are going to give this one a try and i'm going to see you in the next one thank you so much for watching bye bye now bye